Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Friday, June 23rd. It's the second week after Pentecost and week five in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 88, 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 1 through 21. Now please join me in singing verse 4 of the paraphrase of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts. We are God's people, we God's care, our souls and all our mortal frame. What lasting honor shall we rear? Almighty Maker to Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, O Most High God of my salvation. Bend your ear to me. Hallelujah, Psalm 88. Please recite it with me. Hallelujah, O Most High God of my salvation. I have cried day and night. Let my prayer come before you. Bend your ear to me. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draws near its end. I am counted with them that go down into the grave. I am like one who has no strength. Lost among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, whom you remember no more, they are cut off from your hand. You have laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, in the deeps. Your anger lies hard upon me. You have afflicted me with your waves. You have put my friends far from me and made me an abomination to them. I am imprisoned and cannot escape. My vision fails me. Daily I have called upon you. I have stretched out my hands to you. Will you work your wonders for the dead? Will the dead rise and praise you? Shall your loving kindness be declared in the grave? or your faithfulness in the land of destruction? Shall your wonders be known in the dark, and your righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But to you have I cried, my God, and in the morning my prayer comes before you. My God, why do you cast off my soul? Why do you hide your face from me? From my youth I have been afflicted and near death. I suffer your terrors and am distracted. Your fierce wrath goes over me. Your terrors have destroyed me. They surround me daily like a flood. They circled about me together. Lover and friend you have put far from me, and my companion is darkness. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, O Most High, God of my salvation. Bend your ear to me. Hallelujah. A reading from the first book of Samuel, chapter 3, beginning at verse 1. Young Samuel was in the service of the Most High under Eli. In those days, the word of the Most High was rare. Prophecy was not widespread. One day Eli was asleep in his usual place. His eyes had begun to fail, and he could barely see. The lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was sleeping in the temple of Yahweh, where the ark of God was. And Yahweh called out to Samuel, and he answered, I'm coming. He ran to Eli and said, Here I am, you called me. But Eli replied, I didn't call you. Go back to sleep. So he went back and laid down. And again Yahweh called, Samuel! And Samuel rose and went to Eli and said, Here I am, you called me. But he replied, I did not call you, my son. Go back to sleep. Now Samuel had not yet experienced Yahweh. The word of the Most High had not yet been revealed to him. The Most High called Samuel again, and a third time he rose. He went to Eli and said, 
here I am, he called me. And then Eli understood that it was Yahweh calling. And Eli said to Samuel, go lie down. And if you are called again, say, speak Yahweh, for your servant is listening. And Samuel went to his place and lay down. The Most High came and stood there, and he called as before, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel answered, Speak, for your servant is listening. The Most High said to Samuel, I am going to do in Israel such a thing that both ears of anyone who hears about it will tingle. On that day I will fulfill against Eli all that I spoke concerning his house from beginning to end. And I declared to him that I sentence his house to endless punishment for the iniquity he knew about, how his sons committed sacrilege at will, and he did not rebuke them. Assuredly, I swear concerning the house of Eli that the iniquity of the house of Eli will never be expiated by sacrifice or offering. Samuel lay there until morning. And then he opened the doors of the house of Yahweh. Samuel was afraid to report the vision to Eli, but Eli summoned him and said, Samuel, my son. And he answered, Here I am. And he asked, What did he say to you? Keep nothing from me. Thus and more may God do to you if you keep from me a single word of all that he said. Samuel then told him everything, withholding nothing from him. And Eli said, He is Yahweh, he will do what he deems right. Samuel grew up, and Yahweh was with him. He did not leave any of Samuel's predictions unfulfilled. All Israel, from Dan to Beersheba, knew that Samuel was trustworthy as a prophet of the Most High. And the Most High continued to appear at Shiloh. And the Most High revealed himself to Samuel at Shiloh with the word of the Most High. Here ends the lesson. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Bend your ear to us, dear God, and accept our thanks in the morning. Have compassion on us and save us, for you are the God of our salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.